mean all these blood tests? So just to uh, break it down to very, very two simple, most common terms that is being used. Um, as I said, there's a lot of different reasons for running blood tests, but these are the two more common reasons. Hematology. So hematology is a study of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. So this is the uh, blood where they're looking at the shape of the blood cells, how many red blood cells are there, how many white blood cells. They're looking at the conformity, what it looks like, and uh, that is called hematology. So talking a little bit more about hematology. So it is actually calculated by physical count with the machine. They actually count, literally count how many white blood cells, how many red blood cells, and for the white blood cells, what sort of white blood cells are those. So there's this particular term called pack cell volume or PCV for short. And this looks into the concentration of the uh, red blood cells in the entire blood because the blood appears to be red because of red blood cells. So what happens to that? There usually is a proportion. So if they spin the blood down, the heavier cells and red blood cells would be uh, sort of lumped to the bottom. And you can see a huge uh, sort of a gap whereby if that's the entire blood that's taken, spun down, you can see a proportion of red blood cells over there compared to uh, the top bit, which does not have any red blood cells. And it is that proportion that we're interested in. So there's a pack cell volume. So if a dog with or, or a dog with anemia, okay, uh, which means that our little friend here does not have enough red blood cells, the proportion is much lower. So usually it's sort of between 45 and uh, 55. If our little friend here was 20, which means that when spun down, the red blood cell count is only 20% of the entire volume, and that's anemia. The other way around, let's say it's 80%. Okay, instead of between the 45 and 55%, what it really means is that your animal is probably dehydrated because there's not enough fluids. That's the, way, the proportion is too much red blood cells. So that is the red blood cell count. White blood cell count. So what are white blood cells? So they are cells like neutrophils, the defense mechanism, your army against bacteria and other sort of foreign, uh, foreign invasion of uh, infection. Lymphocytes, eosinophils, basophils. You're either looking too much or too little? Is there too much of neutrophils, uh, an inflammatory cell uh, that may be indicating an inflammatory condition or uh, infection? Or is there too little to maybe suggest, okay, there's something suppressing the bone marrow or something like that? Um, the last little bit there will be platelets. So platelets, they are little, little clumps, okay, that it affects the clotting ability. So uh, platelets are very, very important to stop clotting. If not, if you have a condition like a thrombocytopenia, whereby there isn't enough platelets, you'll bleed way too easily. Okay, so that's where animals that can get bruising, black and blue, they just bleed internally way too easily. And the reason why we don't do that, or your pets don't do that, is because of the platelets. Their platelet count is good, it's normal, it's well within sort of normal range. So if needed, that can come in to stop any initial clotting for us. So platelets are very, very important as well.